name's Ruth, this is Ella from This Girl Can Fit Got Real campaign. We're here in Ella's kitchen today to shoot a 10 minute exercise video that's suitable for all ages and abilities. We'll be offering different alternatives for the exercises so you can do as much or as little as you want. We'll be using tins and chairs from around the home to intensify the workout up a little bit as well. Are you ready Ella? Ready. Let's get going. So we're going to mobilise the joints and warm the body up ready for the work to follow. Let's go. Heel taps forward. So bicep curls with the arms, just tapping the heels, then mobilising through the ankles. Chest lifted, head up nice and high. Take the arms a little bit higher. Reach up. So pull your tummy in nice and tight. Keep your chest up. Excellent. Now I'm going to tap the toe towards the outside of the body. Elbows lead and lifting up to shoulder level. Giving a lateral raise, working through the shoulder muscles. Working through the inner and outer thigh muscles as you tap the toe out. So we're going to lift the knee up. This time, let's go. Up, back, squeeze. So we're working the chest. Head up. Fantastic. Elbows lifted to shoulder level. Three, two, step, touch to the side. One, there and back. So it's going to reach the arms. Widen the feet, okay? Good. Side to side. Widen the legs if you can. And then we're going to work the hamstrings. So just going to lift the heel towards the centre of your bottom. Big reach up to the ceiling. Tighten that core, squeezing those muscles in. And now we're going to take a box step forward. Three, two, one. Here we go. Out and back. So two steps forward, two steps back. Push your heel into the floor, soften the knees. You're doing great. Three, two, heel taps. So left leg, let's go. Push through. Bicep curls with the arms. Reaching those arms up a little bit higher. Excellent. Big stretches, tap the toe to the outside of the body. Working through the inner and outer thighs. Elbows come up to shoulder line. Do you feel that heart rate lifting? I feel that. Good, good stuff. <laughs> Keep going. Three, two, step up to the side. Widen the legs, reach and pull the arms. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. And then we're gonna bring the heel to the center of the bottom. This time, let's go. Reach up. Excellent. Pushing through. Body getting warmer? A lot warmer. <laughs> Three, two, and one. We're going to sit down to a squat here. Reach those arms forward. Push your heels into the floor. Head up nice and high. So make sure you sit in your bottom. Excellent. Back. Bring these over your shoelaces. Squeeze the tummy in nice and tight. Push down. Three, two, and one. That's the warm up done Ella, let's move on to the high intensity interval training. So you can do as much or as little as you want. So you're not going to go with my time and you do what's good for your body, so as many repetitions as you could do. So we're just going to take the cams, so we're going to work the biceps as well. So we're just going to go into squat, so it's shoulder distance apart with the heels, push the heels down into the floor. So we're going to do 30 seconds as much as you can do, after go. Heels down, squeeze the button. If you want to take the higher level, you just add a jump in that squat. Just make sure if you are taking the higher level, you're keeping your landing nice and soft. And you're squeezing that button as tight as you can. Excellent. So if you want, if you want to slow it down, slow it down. If you want to speed it up, if you feel okay to do so, add a bit more speed in. That's it. Keep pressing through. Strong with the legs. Keep the elbows in, tucked into the waist. Keep your head up. Okay. That's it. Well done, Ella. Okay. We're going to put the pants to the side. <laughs> so we're going to move on. Nice deep breath. Are you ready? Jump and jack. Star jumps. So you take the higher level or you can take the lower level, which is just tapping the toe to the side. I'll do that. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is the higher level. If you are taking the higher level, make sure your landing is soft and safe and your knees are slightly softened. Reach the arms. Once again, pull your tummy in nice and tight. Nice deep breaths. You feeling okay? Feeling good. Heart rate up. Good. Keep that going. Nice and strong with the muscles. Keep the chest up high. Breathe in and out those deep breaths. Excellent. Okay, well done. We're going to take hold of the weights again. So you're going to take your leg behind, the right leg behind. We're going to do lateral raises. So you can just lunge down and press up. And if you're finding that hard, you can just raise the knee up instead if you want to. If you want to take that next level higher, you're just pressing through lifting that toe up in front of the body. So make sure your front knee is on top of the heel. Excellent, and bend your back knee down towards the floor. And once again, you can add the speed in if you want to make the exercise harder, so as you get stronger and fitter. Okay, well done. Exactly the same, other leg behind. Off we go. Down the press. 
So once again, if you want to take that extra level, you just lift the leg up. So you lunge down, chest lifted, back knee to the floor, back heel elevated. Keep the front knee on top of the heel. Keep that core nice and strong. How are you feeling, Ella? I'm feeling it. Good. <laughs> Keep going. Three, two, one. Okay. Moving on. Feel okay? So we're going to do high knees. You can either just lift the knee up, or we're going to get as fast as you can. Are you ready? Go up. Knees up. So you can just take it slower if you wish, or really take that intensity level up. Head up high. Use your arms as well to increase the intensity. This really gets your heart rate up. Nice deep breaths. Head up high. Feeling okay, Ella? Keep going. You can do it. <laughs> it's working. Excellent. Knees high as you can. Take it low if you definitely need to. You're really trying to push yourself. Come on, Ella. Come on. Nearly there. Well done. Okay, so we're going to go down to the floor. So if your knees underneath your hips, easier version, take the legs further out a little bit harder. Full press ups a little bit harder. So, full press ups is here. Next level down, three quarter press ups. And then if you've got the box press ups here, where you just put your knees underneath your hips. So if you're struggling, you're still going to work those muscle groups. And each week you progress, you might be able to go a little bit further and have the intensity level higher. So squeeze that chest, push down, full body press up if you can. Well done, Ella. How are you feeling? Tired. So that's the high intensity cardio done. We're going to move on to muscle conditioning next. We're just going to work the bottom and the outer thigh. We're just going to use the chair for a bit of assistance. We're going to take the leg up, pull the toes in, and you're just going to lift the leg up by squeezing the bottom and the outer thigh. Are you ready? Here we go. <laughs> that's it. So you squeeze those muscles nice and tight and raise that leg up as high as you can to feel those muscles squeezing a little bit tighter. If you want to make it harder, you can just speed that exercise up. Keep going. That's it. Okay, moving on to opposite legs. So once again, pull the toes in, tighten the muscles, and then just raising that leg up to feel those muscles squeezing nice and tight, yeah? Excellent. That's it. Chest up and lifted. Keep the body nice and tall. Really pull that tummy and support the lower back. Squeeze the bottom, head up nice and high, nearly there. And release. We're just going to pull the chair back, we're going to work the triceps. So work the biceps earlier on in the squat, we're just going to equal those muscles off. So bottom close to the chair, elbows tucked in, head up nice and high, chest lifted, and you're just going to lower the bottom down towards the floor. So just making sure your knees are on top of the heels, elbows tucked in, keeping the tummy pulled in and again once again to support the back. If you want to make it harder, you can take the legs further out. Straighten the legs there if you want to make it harder. Keep the legs better if you want. That's it. Keep the bottom close to the chair. And just squeeze through the triceps. That's it. Nice deep breaths. Two. And one. Okay, so we're going to go into the stretches now. Just going to bring one leg heel into your bottom. Just keep the knees together, keep your chest up. And try and pull your heel towards your bottom. So you feel like stretch with the front thigh muscle, quadricep muscle. They've worked hard on your squats, your lunges, high intensity interval training, <laughs> part, and then release, change legs. So opposite leg, heel into bottom. This should stop you aching too much tomorrow. Anthony. <laughs> so when, when you get stronger and fitter, you can repeat that workout again. So obviously 10 minutes and do another 10 minutes maybe. Yeah, I'll be doing it every day. Good stuff. <laughs> so obviously to intensify the workout, you can just make the movement faster, get stronger, deeper. Just push that bottom back. So push your heel into the floor. Feel that stretch through the back of your leg, through your hamstrings. Feel that from the back of the leg. Opposite leg, switch your hamstring, opposite leg. Push your heel towards the floor. So you know you're doing it right when it hurts, right? Yeah, feel it. <laughs> That's what you want. Feel that stretch run down through the hamstring muscles. Excellent. Okay, triceps, just put one arm above your head. So you've got your triceps and the dips on the chair. So you stretch those muscles off to increase the stretch range. And then your other side. Pushing that arm down. Just assisting the stretch there to make it a little bit deeper. Brilliant. And then your chest. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Open your chest up. Push ups. Felt them. Just stretching off those muscles. Well done, Ella. How are you feeling? Better for doing it. Good. Full body workout. Feeling good. Good stuff. So it's only 10 minutes. You can put it into any part of your day. You can do it more than once if you're feeling energetic and as you start getting stronger and fitter. Thank you for watching and keep going. Yeah.